Hello guys, how is everybody doing? I hope you guys are doing great. So we're going to go ahead and hop into the messages. All right, please remember that these will be general messages. Everything is not going to resonate. So only take what is for you and leave the rest, all right? Um, Master and feminine energies can be switched. Roles can be reversed as it applies to your situation. And uh, yeah, let's go. So someone's ancestor wants to talk about some family secrets. I don't know what these family secrets are. Um, I That's just the download that I got, okay? Something about family secrets. I heard the name Juni Pearl. Juni Pearl, okay? So, I don't know. That could be significant to someone. But uh, let's go ahead and dive in and see what this message is about. Holy Spirit, what are the messages here for the Holy Spirit? I just heard all hell is about to break loose. So I don't know what these family secrets are or what it is, what they are, but uh, I heard all hell is about to break loose. So somebody doesn't want something to get out. Checking for the directive. Checking for the directive. Holy Spirit. Here's the messages right now. Secrets, what is collecting me to know? All right, you got the seven of coins here. This is about an investment, this is about reaping what you have sown. Okay, so somebody's ancestor is saying that somebody's about to reap what they have sown. Okay, what else? What else? Yeah, Emperor. This could be an Aries. This could be a father. So this could be somebody's father, all right? Somebody's grandfather, father, somebody who is a father. Um, yeah. Hmm. So this is about a male masculine figure in the family who's about to reap what they have sown. What else? What else? Oof, you got a magician. Uh, this masculine energy has been doing something that they were supposed to be doing. I just heard for years, for seven years for some of you. This masculine has been, this could be uh, spell work. This could be I don't know. I just heard trouble in paradise. Manipulation. Mm, you have the two of cups on the bottom of the deck. So this is about a relationship or a partnership. Ooh, this is about a third party in a relationship or a partnership. Three of cups. The ten of swords is here. Oh, Lord. Backstabbing betrayal here. Okay. This could also be um, about a, a breakup. This is like the final chapter. It's over. All right. Six of cups. Someone's moving away. Moving forward. Because seven of swords. I said six of cups. Sorry, guys. 
Six of Swords. Ooh, lots of swords here. Somebody's about to tell it all. Lots of swords here. Six of uh, seven of swords here, following the six of swords. Yeah, somebody's moving away from a person who cheated. This main, I'm sorry, main man. Okay, this masculine energy has is about to reap what they have been sowing. They have been manipulating and cheating and lying for years. Now I don't know if this is a spouse that they've been cheating on to. I don't know if this is just, you know, somebody in their family, something that they, so they've been manipulating. <coughs> Ooh, and they want me to shut up. <coughs> Excuse me. They've been manipulating some situation or someone for years, okay? Like I said, this man could be um, some sort of magician, some sort of warlock, something like that. Maybe they do some type of spell work, practice some sort of dark magic or something like that, okay? I don't know. But whatever this is, somebody's about to start talking. There's definitely third-party situation here. There's definitely some cheating and lying. And somebody's leaving because they're going to find out the truth. Justice card is here. This is giving me courthouse, paperwork, especially followed by this death card. This is divorce. This is giving me divorce. Somebody's about to file for a divorce because of this main male. They found out whatever that he's been doing, okay? You got this followed by the uh, Four of Pentacles, okay? Four of Pentacles is someone who's very selfish, trying to hold on. This person doesn't want to let go. They're not going to want to let go. This could also be um, about money. Somebody could be holding on to their coins or somebody's about to get some coins from this, you know? But this... this um, I'm hearing that that uh, old Sammy song. Even if I didn't want to stop, nothing in the world could ever stop the way I feel. Don't you know? I can't let go. I won't let go. Yeah, this this man doesn't want to let this situation go, but I feel like this is over. Somebody's about to go file for a divorce, okay? That's the truth. Ace of Swords is here. Because of the truth, and that is the truth. Clarity and epiphany. Somebody finally sees this person for who they are. All right? Yeah, that's, this is going to be drama, 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 drama. Nine of Swords is here. The Five of Wands is here. And the Page of Swords is here. Child. Yeah, this 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 man is going to be sitting in a whole lot of regret. There's going to be a lot of chaos, a lot of arguing, a lot of back and forth here. Okay? My goodness gracious. Top of the deck, we have the Six of Wands here. The Victory. A success, okay? The success is the world. The chapter is closing, ending. Somebody is closing out this chapter with this person and moving forward here, okay? Somebody could be in the public eye as well. Um, I'm hearing a pastor, or this is just a person who's, like, very really well known in their community, or a lot of people know them, okay? Yeah, but because of secrets. this These secrets and lies and all this sneaking around and cheating and manipulating, that's about to come to an end here, okay? Yeah. Because somebody is deciding to either finally see the truth. Something look, you got the moon coming out with the um after the the sun coming out after the moon. Something is definitely coming to the light. I would keep saying what's done in the dark is always gonna come to the light. It's coming out and it's gonna cause a major upset and a heartbreak to someone, okay? The four of cups is here. Somebody doesn't see this coming. Somebody's about is going to be blindsided by this. Somebody doesn't see this coming, okay? Mm. Yeah, it's going to be a sad occasion, a sad situation. Somebody's saying I'm sick of it, and I'm feeling like it's the ancestor, Miss Junie Pearl. I don't know if nobody got an ancestor named Junie Pearl or June or Pearl. I don't know, child, but they saying they sick of it. Tell me more about this magician energy. Give me give me one more card for this because we're going to clarify with another deck. Let me get one more card for this. Yeah. Two of Wands came out. Um, this is someone making a decision or needing to make a decision. I just heard the name Wayne. Okay, so one's named Dwayne. Oh, oh shit. Okay, Dwayne or Wayne here. Okay, um, let 
Yeah. Something about the ninth could be significant or the number nine or uh, September to be significant. Maybe this is happening in September. Uh, Vice first, last, or middle initial could be E, H, F, uh, G, R, T, or K. Yeah. Ooh. Mm. What else? Yeah, Ace of Swords. Look, that's the truth. Ace of Swords. Somebody's getting clarity and epiphanies and, and finding out the truth. And this is the truth, guys. Like, this is about to happen. Look at this. Look at this Ten of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck in the damn reverse. Ten of Pentacles in the reverse, guys. This Ten of Pentacles in the reverse is about finances. I said something about finances, I think. Um, this could be somebody who married for money. This could be somebody who has gone bankrupt. Something to do with the family, like a family feud. People got family issues or somebody has issues with another person's family. This could be because of money being lost or something like that, okay? And, um... Yeah. Maybe somebody's going through some financial shit. Maybe somebody like lost a job. Somebody's like paying all the bills here or something like that. Um, somebody, this could be bankrupt. This could be um, a person could not like their family or they got family issues or something like that. Okay. Yeah. Somebody's like kind of penny pension. Maybe if it's, if it's uh, finances here. Yeah, somebody's about to be heartbroken. Child, what in the world? Anything else for this day? I'm going to clarify. All right. Nothing else coming out. Look, look, bottom of the deck. The devil. Somebody's toxic. Capricorn energy. But somebody is toxic. What's behind here? Ooh, baby. This person right here who's toxic, this person who, this emperor energy, this man, okay? If it's a female for you, then you can switch it. But whoever this emperor energy is, you got Aries here, you got Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Gemini, Leo, or Sagittarius, all right? Um, Capricorn, I said Capricorn. Yeah, they're about to be in despair. They're about to be in the depths of despair here. Look at all this darkness on these cards. Like, they're about to be... Who I just heard Dark Knight of the Soul, honey. Yeah, look. Lots of chaos and drama in this person's life or that this person is bringing into their person's life, okay? I I, I mean, look. Ooh, look at that Ten of Swords want to fall out. Ten of Swords. Yeah, all this stuff wanted to come back out. Ten of Swords with the Justice, Two of Cups, and the Death card. This is over. This is over. Somebody is done. Somebody could be um, a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn. I mean, well, shit, I didn't mean to say that, but hey, Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn, or um, a Scorpio, Leo, Cancer, or a Pisces, okay? I don't know. Take what resonates, whoever you are. If it's your situation, you know. But yeah, somebody's watching the money, watching the finances, trying to plan off to sneak, somebody trying to sneak off. But they're going to get caught. So somebody could be trying to like run away with the money or something, child. Ah, what? Yeah, look, five of coins on the split. Leave trying to leave somebody out in the cold. Yeah, this person, this masculine here, they don't want a divorce or they don't want to leave this person or they don't want their secrets to come out. So they're trying to take the money and run, I'm getting. And leave this person, leave their person, or leave somebody out in the cold. Stagnant. Yes, I was just about to say stagnant. Knight of Pentacles here is about stagnancy. No forward movement. They're trying to leave somebody stagnant, child, and waiting on them. What? Oh, wow, wow, wow. I feel like somebody's going to try to leave in the middle of the night or just leave, period. And they're not going to come back. They're going to clear out all the bank accounts. And 
to everything, right? And then just leave. But I think it's because they know that they're about to be the ones left out in the cold. This person is dirty. Look at that. Look what fell out. The lovers with the five of pentacles. Yeah, I told y'all. Whoever this is, this is a this is lovers. This is two people, a relationship. Whoever this is, they're about to leave somebody out in the cold. They're about to leave their lover out in the cold. They're making a decision, a conscious decision to leave their lover out in the cold because they don't want them to leave them first or they don't want to go through a divorce or lose any money because they know that they're probably going to have to pay alimony, I'm hearing, okay, or maybe some, some kind of child support because they're the one who was cheating and stepping out. Oh my gosh. I thought this deck was done. Anything else? Anything else? But uh, your aunt, the ancestors, Miss Jenny Pearl, she's saying she's not going to have a child. She's not going to have ants. Yeah. This isn't going to work out how this person thinks. The tables are going to turn very quickly. This is not going to work out how this person thinks it's going to work out. I feel like it's going to backfire on them and they're going to end up being the ones left out of the call. Let's get some clarification. Let's use this one. Look on the bottom of the deck, nine of swords. Yeah. Somebody's about to be left in despair. Oh my goodness. I just heard I'm caught up. I'm trapped. I'm caught up in the middle, in the middle of a two-way love affair. Somebody is a liar, a cheater, a deceiver, a heartbreaker. Mm. That's a like this. Can I get some clarification here? Holy Spirit. Let's get some clarification. about the seven of pentacles here why the seven of pentacles here nine of cups nine of cups is about emotional fulfillment um this can also represent overindulgence with all of these cups here somebody could be drinking a lot eating a lot overindulging in something Give me more for the Seven of Pentacles. I have the Seven of Pentacles here. King of Cups. Pisces energy. Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio energy here. Okay. <clears throat> Somebody gets drunk and gets in their feelings. Somebody has some drinks and gets in their feelings. What else for the Seven of Pentacles? King of Cups. What else about this King of Cups? Ooh, look at that. Ten of Pentacles. Now, and, oops, did y'all see that? I was trying to put it down, and then it just flipped. Oh, my gosh. It came out like this, but then when I was trying to put it down, it just flipped. All right, so. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Alright, so I don't know if it's supposed to be up or down, but this is family again. This is something to do with somebody's family. Like, I don't know if this person doesn't like their person's family or if it's the other way around. It's something to do with money, with finances. Maybe they're going through some financial troubles. And then this person drinks a lot as a result, okay? I just heard bickering and arguing. Like, I don't know. Like, oh, let's see. Why is the emperor here? Why is the emperor?
Yeah, look, shit, I can't make this shit up. By the wands. This is about chaos, arguing and fighting and drama and bickering, like I just said, fighting, arguing back and forth. Somebody gets heated. I feel like this masculine drinks and then gets like very emotional and then it causes arguments in um their in the relationship or whatever okay like they can't handle their liquor or something like that yeah seven of cups more cups mm -hmm. seven of cups this person gets somebody somebody could try even get a little violent y'all see these dragons they're like shit fire breathing dragons here somebody could get a little violent or even if it's just with their words you know but somebody can't handle their liquor. This this emperor right here gets drunk. There's more cups, seven of cups there. And then starts arguments and fights or gets really emotional here because the cups are about emotions here. Okay. Oh boy. Power on the bottom of the deck here. Yeah, it's called it's definitely a tower moment. Something is definitely coming crashing down. I bet you didn't think the day would come crashing down. No, you don't have to say what you think. I already know. I found out from him. Yeah. Something is coming. For, yeah. In the two of cups. Look. Something is coming crashing down in this relationship. Something is coming crashing down in this relationship. Yep. I'm hearing love. Like the love is gone. The thrill is going away. Somebody's about to be single in hermit mode here. By, isolated by themselves. Somebody's about to be all by themselves. In the dark. Where they want to be, apparently, yeah, eight of cups because of her shit. Somebody's walking away. Somebody's walking away from the situation. This queen of pentacles energy here. Somebody's saying I can do bad by myself. I can take care of myself here. This queen of pentacles here is who this um, masculine is married to or who they're with or whatever. This person is walking away from the situation saying, look, I can do this on my own. I was better without you anyway. I was better before you. I was good before you. I'll be good after you. Yeah, seven of pentacles, ready to start over and invest in, in herself. Yeah, this is karma. This is karma for whatever this masculine has been doing or is doing. Child, ten of swords is here. Yeah, four of wands. They betrayed this person in this relationship. Now this person's trying to strip the move on here with, this, with the strength and the knight of swords, child. They ain't got time. Ace of pentacles, they on to a whole new beginning. Moving on to something better, better, better. No more trying to make it work. You make me want to say bye-bye. Say bye bye. Listen, this Queen of Pentacles is out of there. Give me one more for this Five of Wands and Seven of Cups. One more for this uh, Emperor energy. What's the secret? Shit. The Chariot. Could be Cancer energy. All right. Somebody, what's done in the dark comes to the light. Somebody's definitely leaving. Yeah, Eight of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Somebody's definitely leaving or being kicked out. Mm -hmm. This queen of pentacles is walking away. She's kicking. I feel like she's kicking this, this man out. That's what I feel like. She could be the one leaving, but I feel like she's getting, she might be kicking this man out. Yeah, hermit here. Somebody's definitely about to be alone and isolated. Look at that. Emperor on the top of the deck. Yeah. Uh-huh. Ooh, baby. Baby. I cannot make it up, y'all. The emperor is here. Double time. And then you got the Empress in the daggone reverse. This is not a match. This is a separation. Um, this is also this Empress in reverse. Tells me that this Emperor is like, this is a false union. This is a false twin flame, false soulmate, uh, karmic partner somebody's karmic here let's get one more let's see what this is yeah eight of swords this person is trying to trap trying to um trap this person or somebody's all in their head about this situation somebody wants somebody the other person to feel trapped this emperor i feel like wants this um wants their person to feel trapped i really feel like this emperor and the empress in reverse is like the same energy I just feel like this emperor is a, a karmic. 
And that's why this empress is in reverse because the emperor and the empress, when they're upright, they're in touch with their masculine and feminine sides together. Okay. And with these come with the empress coming out in reverse by the emperor, I feel like this emperor, this emperor is not this man. They're not in touch with they're in touch with their masculine side, but not the feminine side. And this, this causes an imbalance in them, in themselves. Right. And this makes them a karmic. That's what I feel like. This person is a toxic person. And they're trying to keep someone trapped or stuck in their head or manipulates this person. Their person that they're with. Get out right now. It's the end of you and me. It's too late and I can't wait for you to be gone Cause I know about her and I wonder how I about all the lies You said that you would treat me right but it was just a waste of time Leave! <laughs> oh man, oh man Let's see, clarify the magician please Clarify the magician please, why is the magician here? Why is the magician here? Ooh, two cards. All right. We got the three of wands. Ten of swords again. Oh, man. Three of Wands is about waiting on something, waiting for something to happen, waiting on your ships to come in, waiting for something. I'm here and waiting on the inevitable. Let's get one more, please, for this magician. Clarify the Three of Wands and Ten of Swords, please. Yes, King of Wands. Mm. The King of Wands in this deck, you know, gives me always gives me manipulative energy. Um, somebody's waiting. They're waiting to see if something is, like, coming out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you. I'm glad I looked at the top of the deck. So top of the deck, you got the moon card, which is about secrecy, lies, could also be about intuition, okay, as well. But you got the moon card here. This is the dark, what's done in the dark, something hidden, right? And then the high priestess is knowing all of these cards, the, this, the moon card, the high priestess, and the chariot here, they all have the moon on them. I'm getting very heavy Cancer Pisces energy, okay? Um, I don't know why Cancer, but I'm getting Cancer energy. I'm getting Pisces energy, Scorpio, all right, also uh, Taurus, but um, yeah, somebody could, this, this masculine could do, they could very well do some sort of black magic, dark magic, something like that, okay, under the moon, okay, and I don't feel like it's under the full moon because all of these are crescent moons. This person does magic anytime, any spell work at any time, anytime they need to re-up or replenish or whatever. They do crescent moons, um, waning, waxing crescents, gibbous moons, all of that, okay? But somebody's waiting to see if the truth is going to come out, like if their secret is going to be safe or if their secret is going to be revealed here, Okay. Page of Wands is news coming in here. Two of Cups, news, news is coming in about this relationship, okay? I'm hearing extra, extra read all about it. Yeah, there's a tower moment coming. Yeah, people are going to know. They're waiting to see if the secret's going to come out or if it's going to be safe. No, it's going to happen. People are going to know. Extra, extra read all the fuck about it. Yeah, this couple is going through a breakup or a divorce because of what? Six of Pentacles here with the Ace of Swords because this man has been giving his time and attention to somebody else. Yeah, dividing their time into somebody else with the two of swords. Mm-hmm. Ooh, wee, 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 wee. This 
person is very highly manipulative. This is over. But they're trying to change that. Or they're trying to change this person's mind or confuse this person. What's the two of wands, child? Oh, shit. Cards on me want to add right now. You got the lovers and the two and the four coins was just on the split. Somebody's definitely selfish in this relationship. For sure. What's the two of wands? Clarify the two of wands, please. Yeah, somebody's deciding to walk away. This two of wands is about a decision. Deciding to walk away. Eight of cups. Yeah. What else? What else for the two of wands and eight of cups? Thank you. All right, six of wands. Yeah, they're, they're, they've made up their mind. Six of wands are going to have a victory in walking away. They're, they've been trying to decide whether or not they want to walk away. Again, we have the moon here. Something's going to happen at night or something happens at night. We got the moon here nighttime again. Okay? Maybe this, like I said, somebody's going to try to dip out in the middle of the night. Yeah, something happens at night. You got the king of swords that fell over here. On top of this um, emperor energy right here, this magician, well, right between this emperor and magi magician energy. So this king of swords is very cunning, very smart, very intelligent, very strategic, and I just heard sadistic as well. All okay? right, so that's this, that's what they're dealing with. Yeah, the world card on the bottom, this chapter is coming to an end. Somebody's closing out this chapter and leaving. Mm -hmm. They're sick of it. Somebody's sick of this person. I think I said that earlier too. The Knight of Cups here. Somebody's going to want to apologize, but this person mm -hmm. is not feeling it. They're moving on. Okay? It's over. Mm -hmm. Somebody's trying to trap this person. Somebody could do something to this person's vehicle or something to try to trap them and so that they can't move mm -hmm. on. Okay? I just heard commandeering this vehicle, so I don't know. Somebody could be a police officer or somebody could be like... Maybe they bought a vehicle for this person, and when this person tries to leave, they're like, oh, you know, that's my car. It's in my name. Some petty, selfish, stupid shit like that, all right? But this person, I just saw the Eight of Wands on the split again. This person doesn't care. They're going to leave anyway. And then the Queen of Wands is just on the split. So there's a definite separation here. They're leaving anyway. I'm like, bitch, if I got to take a train, I'll get the fuck up out of here. I don't care. Uh, anything else? Yeah, four of pentacles. Yeah, somebody's trying to hold this person back, trying to keep them from moving. I'm telling you. Yeah, look. Stagnancy again. Knight of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Somebody's trying to hold this person back, keep them from moving, because they don't want to be having to feel heartbroken here, but it's their fault. It's their fault. This is karma. Somebody's getting karma. Three of Pentacles here that fell out. Anything else? Why is the Three of Pentacles here? Somebody wants to work and collaborate with somebody or somebody was working with somebody. Yeah, look at that shit. Look at that shit. Three of Pentacles is about collaborating, okay, working with somebody. This even looks like spell work. There's a there's a candle there. He looks like he's just zoned the fuck out. There's um the little potion there. All of that shit, right? And then you got the Six of Pentacles. So this, okay, okay, this man... So I don't think he's a magician or a warlock or anything like that. I think that he was paying a magician, paying somebody to do something or paying somebody for some sort of potion, love spell or something like that. Okay. And this is what this, the seven of swords sneaking secrecy shit is about. Or they could pay somebody to try to keep this person around once they know that they're leaving. They're trying to get a love spell or a potion or something that will manipulate this person into staying with them or this is what they've been doing and it's not working anymore child Ooh, wee, 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 wee. yeah shadow side on the split now they're afraid of what's about to happen to their family ten of cups mm -mm. if this is a grown ass well this gotta be a grown ass man but they're childish as fuck they're petty and childish and stupid and insecure. Thank you, spirit. Anything else? Anything else? Two of cups. Nine of pentacles and a queen. Child, I'm done. 
Mm -mm, somebody's about to regret this shit. Stepping out on this person or doing whatever they were doing because Two of Cups is here. I told y'all the Queen of Wands is here and the King of Wands is here. This is a definite split, okay? They're not together. And the Nine of Pentacles is single energy, independent energy. So this Queen of Wands is definitely stepping away from this relationship, being single and independent, child. Auntie, I'm done. Uh, let me throw some love orphan messages on there real quick. And then done. I haven't even used these in a while. Oh shit, they wanted to fall out. I don't think I'm supposed to use these. Yeah. Alright. I'm getting not to use these guys. So I'm not supposed to use this. Call it index oracles. Alright. Shuffling for the collective. Throw some index on it and then we're going to be out here. Shuffle. Ooh, look, bottom of the deck. Somebody's delusional and crazy. Uh, somebody doesn't think this is over. Or somebody doesn't think that they're going to ever get caught or something like that. I already got a baby. Somebody could have a baby on the way. I just heard that song. You'll always be my baby. All right, somebody's saying I really do or did love you. You're so beautiful. Somebody um, knows that this is a loss here. All right, somebody uh, calls are being blocked. Are gonna be blocked. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. Let me get those that fell out. We got copycat, and I've been trying to get in touch with you. New phone, who this? All right. So, I don't know. Somebody around you guys is a copycat? Somebody's trying to do what you do, but they can't do what you do? Or they were trying to find somebody to do what you do? If you already left this person, but they can't, they've been trying to get in touch with you. Again, you could have blocked this person's number or change your phone number. Got a big ego, such a huge ego. Somebody's saying, I should have cheated. Can we just talk? Somebody's really trying to get in touch. I said there's going to be some communication. Somebody's going to be talking, talking, talking. I don't want to talk. Somebody's saying, I should have cheated. Like, dang, you cheated? I should have cheated too with your broke ass. Shit. <laughs> yeah, September. I said something about September. This could be happening as we speak. Could have already happened. Yeah, broke ass wanted to come out. Somebody's broke or trying to leave somebody broke. Alright. We did say that earlier. Anything else? Anything else? I don't know why I didn't put my earbuds in before I started, guys. I'm sorry if it's been low. Yeah, somebody's saying this isn't right. I'm seeing your face everywhere. They're having dreams about this person. Okay. Yeah, I'm seeing your face everywhere. You got something about May. Could be somebody's birthday or something significant happened in May. You got divine masculine here. And then you got it should have never happened, okay? I'm getting that this could be either, either way around. Like, this could be a divine feminine or divine masculine who's doing this, all right? So take what resonates. Anything else? Somebody's a trickster, charmer, illusionist. This is like my Seven of Swords card here, okay? I keep hearing that song, 
by Mariah Carey. You'll always be my baby. I don't know the rest of it, but I know that part. Something about December here. Creep squad. Somebody's a player. A creep. Somebody's real creepy. Like, giving me um Count Olaf vibes. Okay. If y'all don't know who that is, Google it. <laughs> call the popo. Somebody may need to call the police. If somebody want to get out their house, I'm getting. Somebody saying, I used you for money. Yeah, I told y'all this has something to do with money. Look. Distorted masculine here. Yeah, this this the distorted masculine was trying to present themselves like a divine masculine, but really, really, they're just some creepy stalker, charmer, and illusionist here. Okay. All right, guys. So I'm gonna leave that there. I hope something helped you guys out. I'll see you later. Peace, love, prosperity, and abundance to all of you. Alrighty.